channel. So today's video, I'm bringing you guys another Selena Gomez look. You guys asked for it. I asked on my Instagram, what would you rather see? I like did a poll, Selena Gomez or Vanessa Hudgens, and Selena actually won by like 5%. So I decided to do this look here. I was super obsessed. She wore this look for an InStyle award situation. I'm not really too sure what the event was, but she presented Hung Van Gogh, which is her makeup artist with Makeup Artist of the Year, and I am so inspired by him. I've already attempted about four of his looks, so you can say that I am a super fan. So anyways, I thought this look was super perfect for like New Year's or a night out. So let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look. So first, I am starting with my eyebrows. I am brushing them up and then filling them in with my ColourPop pencil. I really love this one to get all those little gaps and whatnot. <laughs> now I am priming my eyelid with the Urban Decay Potion Primer and just to make sure that, you know, the colors are gonna really stick. And I'm using a few palettes in this tutorial. I'm so sorry, but this palette I feel like is perfect for smoky eye looks. So I'm just starting with like these two browns from the palette and really winging that out. So the next eyeshadow, I'm grabbing this like cool gray. It's ColourPop and they actually sell them in single, like it doesn't come in a palette like that. I will have it linked below. It's literally the perfect color to achieve this like Selena Gomez look. And then I'm going back into the Kylie palette and just using that light shade to highlight my brow bone. And then just kind of cleaning everything up. I want it to you know, look clean and nice. So I'm spending some time blending and just kind of perfecting the color, like making sure that that front section really pops. And then I'm going into another palette. I told you I'm so sorry, but I thought that gray brown from the Huda Beauty palette was kind of perfect as well, just to help blend everything together. And then I'm taking another palette, and I literally never use this color from my Too Faced palette, and it's like my most loved palette. But I thought Selena had like this really pretty purple in her eye just kind of like a topper almost over the gray. So I'm taking that purple shade from the Too Faced palette and applying that to the inner half of my eye to really help it pop. Hung Van Gogh actually uses a lot of Marc Jacobs items. I think he's a Marc Jacobs ambassador. So maybe look at one of their palettes and maybe they have everything in one palette together. But I'm just trying to use what I have in my collection already. So I took this black shadow pencil and just kind of messily lined my eyelids with it. And then I'm going to smoke it out with the black from the Kylie palette and just diffuse that on my lash line so that it gets like that really smoky effect. You can literally do whatever smoky eye works for you. I feel like this look is basically a smoky eye with that pop of gray purple right in the inner half of your eye. So I'm now taking this Kajal. It, it's a little more precise than that chubby stick I was working with. So I like it for my lower lash line and as well to tight line. So then I'm just smoking all that out with like a pencil brush and then just smoking everything out again like blending and blending and blending. You guys know how it is. I'll dip into my black shadow and then help it blend it a little bit more and then with the grayish from the Huda palette and then also the browns from the Kylie palette that you guys have already seen me use. And then I took that shimmer shade from the Kylie palette and popped that into my inner corner. I'm laughing there because I'm finally getting to move on to my face. So I'm using the Double Wear by Estee Lauder. Really love this for done, done looks. Just helps really clean up everything. <laughs> so I'm just buffing that into my skin with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm taking this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I really love this concealer as well. I feel like the Estee Lauder does a pretty good job of concealing all of my blemishes that I want covered up. So I'm mainly using this ColourPop one just to clean up the smokiness of my eye. And also I just kind of go in with the brush again just to smoke it out a little bit more. Now I'm taking that Nudies Stick by Nude Sticks and applying that to my cheeks. This is Bondi Bay and I'm just gonna buff that out. I really love this bronzer.
And then I'm taking another Nude Sticks product. This is their blush. Actually, you can use it all over, but I am applying it as blush. And it is in the color in the nude. So just applying that to my cheeks and then blending it out with the brush. And then I want to set everything with a very translucent powder. I know it looks like it has color, but it's actually just very, very translucent to me. And it just gives you some radiance. So I really love this product by Laura Mercier. Another product from Laura Mercier that I've been loving is this eye brightening powder. So I'm just applying that so that my concealer won't crease. And also taking this nude blush. I love this blush so much from Becca. It's called Honey Something or Other. I'll have it linked below. And also just touching up my eyes again with some more black to deepen up and make it a little bit more dramatic. I feel like Selena's was very, very black and smoky. So I wanted to get as close to hers as possible, even though I don't feel like I quite managed to do that. I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury mascara. It's an okay product. I wouldn't say it's one of her best products, but I would definitely splurge on other things in her line. I would get like a drugstore mascara 100% if I were you. So I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes. This Charlotte Tilbury product I'd highly recommend. I really love this Film Star Bronzer and Highlight Duo. So I'm using the highlighter and I feel like it gives pretty good beam for a powder highlight without it looking like super textury and weird because it's so silky and soft. So now I am taking my Glossier Boy Brow. This is in clear. I feel like Selena's were brushed up actually, like it was very noticeable that they were brushed up. So I'm just doing that. And then I'm taking this pencil. It is by Etude House. I did get it in Thailand. So I'm not sure where you guys can find it, but in the end it kind of didn't matter. I feel like Selena has a super like pouty lip. And so I was trying to like kind of overdraw my lips just a little bit but this color I absolutely love this is Aquarius by Colourpop and I think it's literally the perfect nude like pinky nude it's so so good and that is the ultra satin formula so it's pretty comfortable and I just wanted to have a little bit of gleam like Selena's so I'm using that hot vivid lacquer by Maybelline and it is so so pretty I know I've mentioned it in one of my favorites and it is one of my most used glosses so I love that one and then I decided to touch up my eyes just a little further you know me I'm always going back and forth so I'm just blending and adding a little bit of the black and we are done you guys what do you guys think let me know in the comments below in your eyes, there's a heavy blue. Want to love and want to lose Sweet divine, I have you true finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys think I nailed it by giving this video a like. And also, please subscribe if you're not already. I love to do a lot of makeup recreations and especially anything by Hung Van Gogh. So you'll see a lot of that on my channel. I feel like he really nails like that fashion editorial yet still wearable look. And that's really what I'm about as well. I'm not a professional like he is, but I will try my hardest to break it down for you guys as easy as possible. So once again, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.